Welcome to the 11th week of the Alabama history course for fourth grade. This week we'll be discussing the impact of World War I on Alabama, the migration of African Americans, and how technologies changed during World War and how technologies changed during the war to include airplanes, machine guns, and chemical warfare. The Rainbow Division is one of the most famous Alabama divisions, and it joined up with the, or I guess the 167th Alabama Infantry was part of that, and they played a very instrumental part in World War I in beating the Germans. Um, it became known as the Rainbow during the organization at Camp Mills in Long Island, and um, <clears throat> General MacArthur was instrumental in giving this. And they were talking about how to get the 26 states to make up the division. And he said it stretched from one end of America to another like a rainbow. So that's how it got its name. And it's kind of interesting how everybody sort of pulled together for a common effort and how Alabama really had an instrumental part in this effort as well. During this time, too, there was a great migration, and pretty much everybody from Georgia and Alabama were moving northward, uh, the African Americans, and more from Louisiana and Texas, they were moving more westward. So you had a lot of westward expansion and northern expansion, and probably by train, boat, or bus, and they were going to gain more freedoms in the north but by the 1930s because of the Great Depression migration sort of came to a screeching halt. We also experienced a time of growth called the Roaring Twenties and this was right at the end of World War One and between the Great De and bet before the Great Depression and this had sort of a a different time for the United States where people were experiencing financial growth. Um, they were able to buy things, sort of consumer society, and you had a lot of advertising and chain stores, music was on the rise, dancing, slang, women were cutting their hair, jazz was really big, the automobile was coming um, into play, so it was sort of a, a wealthy time, but after World War One, a lot of things were influenced worldwide, and before World War Two, we sort of sank into a depression, and that occurred when the stock market crashed in Wall Street in 1929. Uh, some of the technologies in World War One included more aircraft, and the Germans also armed their planes with machine guns and they had trouble. Um, some of them shot off the propeller so they they uh, soon learned that you couldn't have full rotation. We also saw the use of chemical agents like mustard gas and there were many horrible side effects from that and also um, probably the most significant one was the improvement of a machine gun or um, more airplanes up in the air because you started, started to see more air brigades and more air combat. Alabama also had a lot of volunteers. Alabama suffered uh, trade deficits from the war as they were supplying the Allies with um, industry and this sort of had a bad effect on Alabama's economy. Um, Alabama was known too for their local docks. They were making um, ships into port in Mobile and Alabama also provided over 5,000 National Guardsmen and other volunteers um, to the Army.